All right, good morning. It is absolutely a gorgeous morning here uh, in the deep south of Mississippi. Beautiful, cool weather um, and just pretty sun. We've had a little rain lately, so it's actually good to have a little bit of sun. Uh, we're gonna try to get some things done today. We've gotta move some hay, we've gotta move some cows. Uh, we think we're gonna go ahead and buy, uh, I put the shocker knot up for the meat birds because they're getting a little big in our garage. And then also we've got to where y'all saw where we built the little chicken coop, the mobile chicken coop. Um, we've actually got to go ahead and get a charger on that fence as well. So that way we can get those uh, laying hens out there. So we've got a lot going on today. We're hoping to get it all done. Uh, we also have a big trailer full of uh, some pine mulch that we raked up. We're hoping to utilize that around the farm too for good deep bedding and also for uh, insulation again for the animals and for our bed and some of the flowers we have as well. So busy day we're hoping to get it all done uh, thank you for watching if you are new to our channel we hope that you will stick around and we hope that you'll subscribe and ring the bell uh, if you are a return watch your thanks so much so we're gonna bring you along for the day all right so we just opened the gate to the new paddock for Allie uh, it's still with the dairy stanchion and also a little hay spot just in case she calves she has covered on both sides uh, with some hay and some bedding there but uh, we're gonna let her in this little ryegrass paddock by herself usually we don't like keeping our cows by themselves we like keeping them with another um, you know another cow or a calf but since she's fisting a calf we don't want to we don't want another cow with her right now we did get them a protein lick tub that way they'll have something just to kind of uh, have some nutrients especially as they go into this winter season um, but we got this gate open let's go take care of the other one right quick See, we just put a piece of poly tape right here. Oops, get unlocked on the road. Grab it right quick. This one little piece of poly tape hooked to the Ranger makes a huge difference. And it allows them to know that, you know, don't try to cross it. They walk their self and really all of them do well. But since Allie, the, the Alpha's not with them. And then, uh, of course, uh, that means Elsa or Daddy O is in charge. I just want Ike to, to watch. So again, you see we've got this one here. We just hook it right there. There you go. One little strand. So we're going to walk them from the back paddock all the way around and park them right here behind the greenhouse. Just because it's going to be cold, I can put a thing of hay here. We're going to spread it out. We're going to actually do a little Greg Judy kind of thing. Uh, we don't really have the extra hay to roll it all out but we're going to try to roll it in spots to help them learn how to graze but hopefully whatever they don't eat will get stumped in the ground and make for a better spring and fall next year i really want to get to the point where we're not doing any kind of tillage for any uh rye or any of the uh, winter grass or the summer grass so summer grass we've done pretty good we don't have to till in or open it up and reseed but still for winter we're having to do a little of that for the paddocks for the um the ryegrass so we're trying to get away from that we may look at doing some some light fescue or some clover or something that can hold to the coolness a little bit better or even the rye but make it where we're just deep bedding it first, deep bedding it first. having to till it back up so let's get them moved right quick all right you can see they're the very back one back here we're going to go get them and walk them all the way i don't have any feed or anything like that usually i i bring some alfalfa to entice them but just being that uh, I've kind of held their hay off right now and they're in the ryegrass path, they've ate pretty good down. So they should be wanting to move because they know I'm going to feed them or get them in a better pad, excuse me. So, okay, charger still hooked up. Take down the first fence. They won't just step over it, so I got to move it out of the way. Come on, get it. The girls are up here. The bulls are not. I'm about to get them over here. All right. There you go, girl. Come on, Daddy. Yep. 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 
Come on. Come on, boys. Boys, bear and bring up the rear. That is looking good. Come on, Ike. Yep. Good job, guys. We'll get ahead of them now just because you got to make sure they're not going to run the opposite way than what they're supposed to. Come on, yep. Yep. Come on, yep. That one little strand kept them in. Let's get their water moved. Look how pretty Ike looks with all that hair. Starting to really come up on him, all that winter coat. I love when they get their winter coat. You know, when you move cows, like we do, little feet and buckets and troughs and water buckets, they just pretty much stay in fields because <laughs> most of the time you're moving them crazy times. And, and today is just going to be one of those days I got to pick up a lot of those old protein tubs, old lick tubs, uh, feed trays and water troughs. I've got like 15 and they're all just scattered around. Do some cleanliness, maintenance needs to be done it's a beautiful day to do it so i'm gonna try to get some of it done See what I mean? If you look out where she was, or still is right now, we gotta get our water bucket. But look, there's like a black bucket over there, old feed bucket. There's a red, two old red protein tubs. We just need to clean up. We usually put some old feed or we'll put a mineral block in there, a salt block or you know, things like that. But it's just one of those days. We need to get some of that up so it makes everything look better. I might like to hang a Christmas wreath too on the, the milk stanchion barn because I just like Christmas and I like wreaths and it makes me happy. All right, let's get her moved over. I mean, get everything moved over. And get these tubs up. Okay, so we got all the water pans, little feed pans and protein buckets all out of the field. And what we'll do, even though they're not dirty, we will still take a little apple cider vinegar, kind of swish it around there, kind of wipe it out, uh, just to make sure there's nothing in there that shouldn't be in there. We even may put a little shakling in, in their water. Anytime we move them paddocks, paddocks, and paddocks, we tend to uh, put a little shakling H2 in their water. As a, as a dewormer but also just as a health benefit and health boost as they move into a healthier grass and a new area so we'll get all that done too let's get these pans finished moved man it feels good out here it's cool but the sun's warming it up just so you can see the setup um that misty's got set up for the new calf and mama <clears throat> this is the other side you know you got the stanchion here this is the other side where it's fully enclosed on both sides and we've got a little piece of cattle gap fencing that can go right there if we need it we've got a heat lamp for the calf just to make sure as cold as it is we want to make sure she is warm 
and that Allie stays around her. So we've got this ready for her. Um, but I just want to show you that since we're over in this part of the field. You need to check it out. You need to have this calf. You need to be hanging out in here. Moved. All the early chores are done. A to start on the pine. So we are pretty much wrapping up uh, for this day. It's been a good day. Look, I just want to show you this. How, how cool though. Look at this. Look at that fresh lettuce growing. Now let's let's talk about this just for a second before we end this video. We've got five different lettuces, like I like I told you before. We're in deep south zone eight, eight uh, B actually. Okay, this was our personal lettuce that we harvested last year and also collected seed from, okay? Look how good that is. Look how thick. Just thick, 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 thick. We used its own holes, and you can you can go back and look at this video, but we used its own holes as a compost on top of it. Look how lush. I mean, there's like no dirt showing, but like right there. Now, nothing against it, but this is the in my gardener seed. Still growing good, still same soil. Same fertilized, uh, organic fertilizer we use, same bag of potting soil. But you see how some of this colder climate lettuce, even though we're having great cold climates, it's just not native here, so it may not grow as good. So this is one of our MR gardeners. It's growing, but nothing compared to that. Now, this is another local seed. We didn't grow this, but this is from a local seed in Mississippi. It's doing really well too. Not as good as ours, but it's still doing very, very good. It's actually got a little bit more height than any other one that we have but a very good non-gmo seed that we bought local the only thing i worry about this one is it seems like it's getting a little moldy underneath um so i'm gonna keep an eye on that one another in my gardener seed you see again a lettuce doing good but not nearly as good as some of the ones that are more native to us and then lastly this is a um this is this is also an in my gardener this is grad rap uh, grand rapid so you see, this one's doing a lot better. This one's a lot more fuller. So we see that the two that are native here, the one we harvested and we um, we raised, and of course have the heirloom seeds off of, that's been native here for the last two years, it's doing the best. And then we have the one that's native to Mississippi doing the second best. And then the more warm tolerant uh, in my gardener seed is doing probably third. So we're, we're excited about this lettuce. Again, easy way to grow lettuce we're going to have lettuce of course all winter just by having five bags of potting soil that home depot was wanting to get rid of so just want to show you that little update again everything's looking great here we're we're going through the <laughs> the wetness and the, the cool but that's okay we're getting everything ready um aloe's doing wonderful great we actually need to split and do a lot of babies off these we have probably another 40 or 50 that we can split off these misty will do those look at our um our oranges are starting to turn orange or turn orange or turn orange so that's awesome we'll actually pull those off very very soon uh and our lemons are starting to come along so very pleased with what the greenhouse is doing for us um we did not turn a heat lamp on quick enough so some of our basil is, is struggling I mean, it's, it's looking bad so Misty will probably try to take some of that let some of it go seed and pretty much keep the rest and let those be fed to the chicken so ending today hope you enjoyed this video I know it's kind of all over the place doing a lot of chores and doing a lot of things but thank you so much for watching the max we love making quality videos and content and we hope you're enjoying them. if you have questions about anything we're doing please let us know and other than that, if there's anything we can uh, answer questions for, we'd love to. And if we don't know them, we'll try to find the answers for you. But God bless you. We hope that you have a wonderful evening. And uh, thank you again for watching. Share us. And uh, God bless. Happy homestead, y'all.